Hey guys, today we're going to talk about mechanical alignment in FLL. Most FLL missions can only be completed if the robot is positioned very accurately. Mechanical alignment guides the robot to the correct position. Here's what I mean. Here's our robot with the mechanical aligner attached to it. And as you can see, the robot's angle is not correct. It is pointed too much downward. Now let's see how mechanical alignment can fix this problem. When the robot moves forward, the mechanical aligner automatically guides it to line up with the mission. This is because when the angle pieces on the mechanical aligner touch the mission, they automatically push the robot to the right place. Let's start building this mechanical aligner, which will help your robot align to the elevator mission. Here are the pieces we'll need. First, let's start out with an 11 beam. Let's take our long blue pins and put them into these spots. Next, let's take our two 3x5L beams and put them on like this. Last, let's take an 11 beam and put it on top. Now let's attach these two angle pieces. So let's take two of these blue axle pins and insert them here and here. Next, let's take two of these black pins and put them here and here. So now we can attach our angle pieces on like this. Notice how the area between the two angle pieces is nine units wide. And at the widest point, the elevator mission is also nine units wide. This is what allows the mechanical aligner to help line up the robot. Now you can use the aligner to help your robot line up in front of the mission accurately on the field. Keep in mind that when you build mechanical aligners in the future, the width between the two angle pieces needs to be the same as the width of the object you're trying to line up to. For example, if I was trying to line up with this object, the mechanical aligner we just built wouldn't work because it's 9 units wide and this object is only 5 units wide. So if you wanted to build a mechanical aligner for this object, you'd build one like this one, which has five units of width between the two angle pieces. And as you can see, you can align. You can practically use these aligners to line up with any stationary object on the field. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. See you next week!